Today is the 60th anniversary of Penn State's Brazil nuclear reactor. So all day we'll be conducting tours for the public, uh, basically teaching them about what we do here, uh, what we can use our reactor for, and uh, things that we've used it for throughout the years. Well, the reactor bay itself is a very large room. It has a 24 foot deep pool uh, that holds about 71,000 gallons of water that houses the reactor. Um, uh, and you can actually see the reactor hanging about 18 to 19 feet um, underneath the water. Um, and the reason it's a constant blue light instead of just a flash is that there's trillions of them happening every second or so. So uh, it's proportional to power. As we go up in power, the blue, go, blue glow gets brighter. Uh, if we were to shut down, it would go away. We also took the tours in the control room. Uh, basically what we're doing in there is showing them how we operate the reactor and uh, how the reactor operators manipulate the reactor itself. This gives us all of our indications. On the right screen, we have live readout. The red line's fuel temperature, blue line's power and we have radiation levels in the bay. Um, but these make it easy for us to operate. What actually allows us to operate is this analog system on the left. So as the tours come through, we show them our public outreach room and uh, what we teach different visitors that come through. It actually gives off quite a bit of radiation. So we're also talking about research projects that we do um, for graduate students and professors here at the university um, with all different kinds of research that they're uh, working on. We're always uh, trying to find new ways of uh, teaching students um, about uh, ray, uh, nuclear reactors, for example, our brand new uh, simulator. Um, again, we're not making any electricity here. Uh, we are strictly using we, our reactor for uh, radioactive purposes for research and things like that. It's just all thermal energy being created.